in this video I'm going to show you how to do circular free motion embroidery working onto cardboard. By that I mean this texture here where I'm doing a circular motion freestyle on top of the cardboard to create an all over background texture. I'm doing, going to do this in a self coloured thread because this sample is getting prepared to be painted so that the stitching becomes part of the background texture rather than being an embellishment. I have got my embroidery darning foot set up on my machine and my dog feed is lowered and I'm going to be moving the cardboard to create the circular lines. Before I started sewing I have just pressed down the corrugated parts of the cardboard because this is quite a thick heavy cardboard so that the needle will easily work into the cardboard and also the foot won't get jammed up on the ridges if it's too bumpy. So I'm going to put my foot down, my tension is at set at standard and I'm going to create a nice even foot pressure holding my threads to start with and I'm going to move my cardboard in a circular motion. As I'm doing this, I am making sure that I am going into the stitches I have previously done so that I am there's no gaps and I'm creating an all over texture. You'll see that I'm moving the cardboard first one way and then the other way. This way I'm getting a more random texture rather than repeated spirals or circles. So I'm now going to work this little bit and in this circular motion and you'll see the texture being built up. texture has that now been completed and there you can see you've got a lovely all over circular motion texture which will look beautiful when it's painted. I What I do with the threads is I don't, you could just snip them off but I tend to just so that they don't start unravelling is turn it over and pull them through to the back and just do a couple of knots in them so that they are hidden. <laughs> 